M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I'll be doing some videos on this U5 link from AliExpress, okay? They're only about £50, but I think they're really good because they work great on FTA and digital modes, but they also provide you with a, a USB link for using things like Chirp. Now, when you use Chirp, you don't need to plug in lots and lots of audio cables. All, all you need to do is plug in, I've just, well, for me, I've plugged in the two cables at the back. One is called a data and one is a cat, a cat cable, okay? I'll just show you them. So just look here. We've got data to data. The data's on the left with the 818. And then we've got cat to cat. And just be very careful putting them into your, into your radios and device because the pins bend easily. So download Chirp, nice free program, and you will end up with this window here. Then go to your radio, hold down the mode button above the display on the left, hold them both down, and turn on the radio. Of course, the USB cable at the front of the U5 link is going into your, into your laptop. All right, so next thing you do is go download from radio. Then select your COM, so right click here just to see which COM number you've got, Device Manager, and it says COM11. Okay, I'll move this little window over so you can see it. So look, COM11, Yesu, we've chosen 818, but look at all the other models it works on. I'm going to try it on my 857 next, and then we just click OK, and then it tells you to now, you know, to tell all the cables, push those buttons like I just said, Click OK and then hit the A button and get some nice musical notes and you can see the U5 link flashing away. Now I think this is really good because you're paying about £50 for the U5 link but what you don't know is that because you've got the U5 link you don't have to buy uh, the USB to data cables for programming because the little U5 link does it all and I just think that's brilliant. And don't forget there's a lot of digital modes and I'm sure there's even more that it does. And with the correct cables, you know, what other radios can you use this tiny little device on? So anyway, back to the actual software. Look, if we want to change the frequency, uh, I've got lots of different settings here. I don't very often use programming software. I tend to just do it manually. But you can see here, there's a lot of VFO ones. Then scroll down, there's some memory channels that I've put in. So look, I haven't named some of them. So where's the name here we could put in? here g but caps gb3 uh, bc that one and then we've got gb3 wr 3wr oh didn't click it gb3 wr not sure what that one is there's another wr there bc you can see i'm pretty much using the same things but you get the idea now to do the frequency as well Let's just scroll down to a blank one, double click here. One, four, five, dot. Uh, let's do WR again, of course. Six, we need to add many of them. Name, GB3WR. We do need a tone. And then we need a frequency, 94.8. Duplex, no, we don't need a shift, do we? Let me think, unless we do need a duplex, so I'm wrong about that. Duplex, minus, shift on that would just be six. Put a six, a six, just a six here. If it was 70 stems, you put 7.6, okay? FM, and you can change the tuning steps and other parameters. Once you've done that, then we're going to go, let's send it to the radio. So you go at the top, radio, upload. To, before I do that, I'm going to show you some of the settings that you can see on this because they're pretty good where is it the big massive settings page here i'm gonna find it honest oh you can import from repeater book that's very good isn't it import all the repeaters and then you've got some more there import a stock file so you've got a lot of us stuff you could import You've got import, export as well, files, save. What else can we have here? Got the top special channels, show empty, properties. 
set there's the settings menu there so in the settings you've got basic cw digital channel controls dual watch auto range noise blank agc power mode vox panel settings extended menu antenna selection and you've got your memories there so i just think it's great uh, so when you write back to the radio go radio upload to radio you're going to get some instructions again click ok so it's now telling us to do the same but this time press the c key so we click ok and then we're going to hit the c oh it's come up with an error but if it does do an error just do it again so i think you have to be quite fast so we go radio upload to radio then very quickly go ok c i've done this before there it goes if you're not quick and the u5 link flashes away i'll tell you what i am curious about and i'm going to just try it before i end the video i'm going to unplug the data cables at the back no actually i won't i got a feeling that only one of them is needed to to do this probably the cat cable probably the cat cable so i'm going to unplug the the data cable just out of interest to see if it works and if it doesn't then i'll go i'll try I'll, I'll unplug the other one so i'd like to know which one it's using so at the moment we're just left with the cat cable now so let's just go download from radio click ok click ok and then click a and that's working fine so we now know but it's only the cat cable. So the USB box is basically acting as a cat lead for just basic USB. You know, you're not, um, and that's it. I think that's excellent. Can't complete getting memory. Uh, let's just write to radio this time. Maybe you do need it. Upload. Click OK. Click OK. And then we're going to push C. You have to be quick, don't you? If it fails, then, then I would just say, just to be sure, uh, oh, it's going now. Just to be sure, leave your cat and your other one plugged in, you know. But hey, it's fun experimenting. Just seeing if that finishes with an error. No, it says completed. So there you are. And to come out of clone mode, you just turn it on and off. Turn it on. Go to memory. Look, you've still got FT8 running. And that's the thing, you can run FT8 with this. VFO memories. Look, it's Hubnet. Sounded busy. So that's Hubnet. So thanks very much for watching my channel. The tuner I've got in the background is the ATU100. It has a chargeable battery. It's a little bit annoying because the battery keeps doesn't last too long. But when it is working, it's working great. Bye for now, 7.3. Please remember to subscribe and like my channel. All the